Al and I were just talking. This is one that neither one of us had ever heard of, a model. From the northwest corner of Washington Strait, we found a guy who has a BR John Deere. During a recent visit there, we met a collector who found his John Deere BR in a very unusual way. It's a 1945 BR John Deere. It's a regular, which was used on the farm. When I bought it, it was in kind of pretty bad shape. It had chains on the tires and a snow blade on the front welded to it. Just mainly cleaned it up. I had no motor work to it at all. It was in good shape. Overhauled the carburetor and that was it. Yes, I do use it some for heroin fields and whatever. I use pretty much all my tractors. I have six of them. A guy come to our tractor show. He had a sign on the back of his piece of cardboard on the back of his back and he had his tractors listed that he was selling. And that was a tractor I was looking for at the time. So uh, I called him and got a hold of him and I went up and I bought it and I left it there. And he said, you know, when you leave it here, there's eight feet of snow here. So I said, put a lot of antifreeze in it. <laughs> and I went and got it the next spring. Yeah, they're a little bit harder to find. You can find more B.O.s because out here in this part of the country, the B.O.s, they made the Linderman bulldozers out of them. So there's a few more B.O.s than there are B.R.s. And this has electric start and a dashboard on it, which the other ones do not. When I take my tractor to the show, they always want me to bring the B.R. It's the same size as a B tractor. They always have a wide front end. The axle is really heavy. Pretty nice tractor and it has given me no trouble at all. I keep it in the basement, it starts every time and 